this problem was in the calculator section. So you could have just graphed it on your calculator, but as a quick review, I've done it by hand. First, we factor and determine that our zeros are 0, 3, and negative 2. So I'll plot those 0, 3, and negative 2. Each one of them has odd multiplicity, so we cross at each one. And our end behavior is x cubed, so low to high. So I will draw that low, cross, cross, cross. There's my graph. I want to know when this graph is greater than or equal to zero. Well, I'm highlighting the portions that are greater than or equal to zero. <coughs> Negative two to zero and three to infinity. Because it was greater than or equal to zero, we include the dots. And so therefore we have the brackets. An alternative way, once you have the problem factored and you know your zeros, you could put them on a number line and test values between. You would also get true and true from negative 2 to 0 and from 3 to infinity. <coughs> 